Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَاتَّبَعَتْهُمْ ذُرِّيَّتُهُمْ بِإِيمَانِهِمْ وَاتَّبَعَتْهُمْ ذُرِّيَّتُهُمْ بِإِيمَانٍ أَلْحَقْنَا بِهِمْ ذُرِّيَّتَهُمْ وَمَا أَلَتْنَاهُمْ مِنْ عَمَلِهِمْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes those who will enter paradise. He says those who believe, who were followed by their offspring, not just their children but their grandchildren and the family line. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَلْحَقْنَا بِهِمْ ذُرِّيَّتَهُمْ Allah says on the day of judgment in paradise, He will join them together. Meaning what? If your child is raised to be someone who is better than you, if your daughter is better than you or your son is better than you, and by virtue of their sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are raised in Jannah and a higher level that you have attained yourself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cause by virtue of the love and the family ties that you have, will cause those who are lower to ascend in rank to be joined with those who are higher in the higher levels of paradise. So you investing in your children will be a means of your ascension in paradise. Strong believers, they will have the reward and you will benefit from that reward because you've been a part of investing and raising them. The hadith, the famous hadith of the Prophet ﷺ that all of our deeds will be cut off after we die except for three. And what are the three? A sadaqa jariya. Charity that you give that continues to bring reward or what? Or a son, a righteous son or daughter that prays for you. Abu Huraira, he states that when a man passes away or a mother passes away and she'll be raised or he'll be raised in their rank in paradise, not by virtue of any deeds they did, they will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, what, what is this? Why am I being raised in paradise? And he will be told it is, it is by virtue of your son or daughter making istighfar for you. So you raise, leaving behind a righteous child or knowledge that brings benefit. So when you teach your child to read Surah Fatiha and you don't outsource that education to someone else, but you yourself invest in your child, every time they recite Surah Fatiha, you have a portion of the reward. You have the reward, every, every letter of the Quran that they're reciting, the 10 reward for each letter, you get a reward of that. So it's a huge investment for your Akhirah. We make dua to Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. We ask Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala to bless us, our families, to bless our children, to guide them to Islam and to guide them to be, to be stronger than us, to be better than us, to be better believers and better individuals in society than we were. You know the ayah that we talked about in Surah Al-Tur, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Allah will join the children and the parents and the families, those who are on the higher levels of Jannah, the lower ones who didn't make it to their level will be joined with them. A few verses later, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that they will come to one another and they'll start talking to one another. Allah says, وَأَقْبَلَ بَعْضُهُمْ عَلَىٰ بَعْضٍ يَتَسَاءَلُونَ Allah says they will come to one another and they will ask one another about their time in this world. What will they say? قَالُوا إِنَّا كُنَّا قَبْلُ فِي أَهْلِنَا مُشْفِقِينَ فَمَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْنَا وَوَقَانَا عَذَابَ السَّمُومِ They say, Allah says about them that they'll be talking to their families together. And they'll be saying, you know, back when we were in this dunya, we used to be afraid. We were with our family, we were with one another, but we were afraid of the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They were invested in their faith together. Allah gave us His bounty and saved us from the punishment of the fire. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna kunna min qablu Innahu huwa rahim He says that, they say that we used to indeed make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We were praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says about them, Allah says indeed He's the one who is the most beneficent, the most merciful. So they were praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they're investing their time as a family together. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the most beautiful names to bless us, you know, with wives and, and, and husbands and children who are the coolness of our eyes and to bring our families together and to rectify the relationships between our families and to give us a tawfiq, to be Righteous sons, righteous daughters, righteous brothers, righteous sisters, righteous husbands, righteous wives, and righteous fathers and mothers. That we uphold the responsibility of family and that we all be joined together with our family in the highest levels of paradise. Donate now. Go to www. 
thedailyreminder.org slash donate. And stay updated by joining our network's social links. Uh-huh.